Erica, the victim in this case would now be in her 30s. It's unclear tonight why it took nearly two decades for these charges to come to life, but prosecutors obviously had enough evidence to convince a grand jury. To get hired at a very young age. John Porter came before the Hopkinton Select Board in 2021 and said his years as a school resource officer had been the most enlightening and rewarding part of his career. The kids didn't trust the police, the teachers didn't trust the police, the administration had no idea what what to do with us, and we were able to forge ahead and, and develop a great bond. Now, a grand jury has indicted Porter on charges he repeatedly raped a 15-year-old female student in 2004 and 2005, during the time he was working in the schools, but off school grounds. These are allegations at that point, but obviously he was in a different and a powerful position relative to a high school student. Porter has been on leave since last August when the department announced he was under investigation, but without saying why. Less than a year earlier, Porter had beat out three co-workers to become deputy chief. At that time, he revealed he'd had a difficult childhood. We grew up in a, um, an abusive father that was abusive to my mother and myself and my sister. In 2006, Porter was one of the lead investigators on the high-profile murder case against Neil Entwistle. He's been on the force for more than 30 years. In a joint statement, Hopkinton's town manager and police chief said, quote, We are deeply disturbed and troubled by these accusations. These alleged crimes have no place in our community or anywhere else, and we extend our sympathies to the victim. Last Friday, the same day that the indictment from the grand jury was handed up, Porter announced that he was going to be resigning from the Hopkinton Police Department. He remains free while waiting arraignment. Live in Hopkinton, David Beenick, WCVB News Center 5.